What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick guide, I'll be showing you the fastest ways to level up your Steam account, although most of these do require some kind of money, or at least that you own items that are worth some kind of value. If this doesn't sound like something you want, and instead you want to level up your account completely for free, in the description down below you'll find part one of this two-part series, where I cover how to level up your Steam account completely for free. Before you click off though, some of the methods that I mentioned here can be done mostly for free just by using trading cards, selling in-game items, etc so it's still worth it knowing about these. Steam does earn a ton of money from leveling up your Steam account after all, so paid methods are always going to be a bit faster. But before we get into it, where exactly does XP come from to level up our account? Well, XP is earned in a few different ways, though most of it comes from using trading cards to craft badges. For each badge, you'll earn around 100 XP usually. However, before we continue, why exactly would you want to level up your Steam account? Well, obviously, beyond a certain point, it's really just bragging rights, but you do get extra function as well. Starting at a friends list with a limit of 250 friends, each level that your account levels up, you'll get an extra five slots on your friends list, up to a maximum of 2,000. Then, for every 10 levels on your Steam account, you'll also unlock another showcase slot, which you can use to display achievements, videos, items, and more on your Steam profile, up to a maximum of 20. Not only this, but also booster packs containing a few trading cards for games that you've already collected all of the free card drops for, happen to drop randomly with a higher frequency the higher your Steam account is leveled. If you're using trading cards to level up your account by crafting badges, each badge usually gives you around 100 XP to a maximum of 500 XP. XP at a level 5. During events like the summer and winter sales on Steam, they oftentimes have badges which don't have any kind of level limit and hence can earn you a ton of XP to level up your account really quickly. When you craft a badge, you'll also get a random emoticon and profile background, as well as a chance for a discount for a game. And during Steam sales like the summer and winter sale, you'll also earn a trading card drop for that badge during its own sale. Unfortunately though, to use trading cards and craft badges, you'll need to spend at least a little bit of money during the last year on Steam so your account isn't limited. Limited profiles can still craft badges, but they won't give you any XP. So, how exactly do levels work? Well, each level requires more and more XP to complete. The lower your level, the faster you can level up for cheaper. But, where you may spend 100 XP at first, you may need thousands and more at higher levels. For each major level milestone you pass, the background for the icon also updates to many different styles, for which you'll find this page linked down below, where you can see the thousands of different styles for every different level on Steam. So without further ado, let's speak about really quick ways to level up your Steam account. The best time to level up your Steam account is absolutely during Steam sales. Steam sales is the best time simply because you can earn sale trading cards, which can be used towards your sale badge, giving you 100 XP per level, and they usually don't have any kind of limit, so you can level it up to a ridiculously high number, earning tens of thousands of XP at a time. Oftentimes, during the sale close to the end of it, the price of these cards will drop quite dramatically, simply because once the sale is over, all of these Steam sale trading cards become useless and vanish. However though, not every Steam sale has badges, it's usually only the major summer and winter sales. And there are quite a few ways to earn these Steam sale cards for free, in the sense that you're spending money or time for things like games and getting these as extras. You'll still be spending money, just not directly converting it into Steam levels. Say, if you're buying games or DLC or just generally spending money on Steam during the sale, you can earn free trading cards. If you're scrolling through the discovery queue on the store page during sales, you can earn a free trading card every day just by running through this queue. And of course, if you craft a badge during a sale, you'll also get a trading card for that sales badge for free. So if you're planning on leveling up a lot, waiting for a major sale is usually the best thing to do as it takes you so much further. So in my previous video, we spoke about leveling up for free and we barely touched on trading cards. In this video, we're gonna be diving quite a bit deeper. So if you've idle games or just played games and collected all of the free card drops for each game, then checking your Steam badges page is a good place to start. You can see that these games here have no card drops remaining and we're at three out of five. All I need to do is select this, then choose down here, buy remaining cards, and usually spend just a few cents to get the remaining cards. 
Oftentimes, though, you'll find these aren't for sale or they might be kind of expensive. On the odd chance that you do find a badge that's half complete and relatively affordable, spending a few cents to finish it off and actually craft the badge is a pretty good idea as it's usually the cheapest way to level up. You've already got a few cards for these badges, so why not just finish them? Or if they're horrendously expensive, you can sell these trading cards and purchase many more cheaper ones. I'd especially recommend you sell your overpriced trading cards if you happen to have any foil trading cards. These silver outlined trading cards aren't just normal trading cards, but way more expensive. You can craft foil badges for pretty much every game, but unfortunately they still give you only 100 XP per level up to a maximum of 500. The only difference is they're more expensive. That being said, we're really looking for cheap badge sets. You can't really find that information here or anywhere else on Steam for that matter. You'll need to refer to third party tools like this over here. Steam.tools slash cards. Here you can see the card average price and cheapest price for sets so you can find the best sets of cards to purchase. Simply just head across here, click the M next to a game to open up the Steam market for this and you'll find all of the different cards listed here. We'll obviously skip zero and start at these cheapest sets which seem to go for about 30 cents each and can be purchased pretty easily. That being said, this method can be very confusing for the uninitiated and of course not exactly super cheap if you happen to see a price here that doesn't exactly match what the cards actually are. So it's not exactly super fast nor is it super easy. If you are looking for relatively cheap cards to level up your account easily, Steam sale badges are a great way to do it. Usually these aren't dirt cheap but without a level cap of 5 or an XP cap of 500 these can go almost infinitely. For example in recent history the Steam Summer Sale Badge 2024 reached a all-time high of level 1.7 million, earning this user over 170 million XP, which is crazy. Obviously, they spent a lot of money to get this done, but you get the point. These things can be scaled really, really high. And it is a super easy way to level up your account as you're just buying the same cards over and over and crafting the same badge. No thought required, just a bit of money. Or in this case, a lot of money. Buying Steam Sale cards in mass is pretty easy. That being said, don't confuse Steam Sale badges for Steam Sale collection badges. These ones have a limit of level 40 or 4,000 XP and can be purchased for free from the Steam Point Shop by trading Steam Points for different levels in these badges here. These sadly don't scale infinitely and of course you do actually need Steam Points to purchase these for which you'll need to spend money on Steam anyways. The absolute simplest way to level up your accounts with money really really quickly is by practically converting money one to one into Steam levels. This video was sponsored by Duobot.com. Simply head across to Duobot.com using the link in the description down below for an extra five cents and sign in in the top right. Once you've signed in with Steam, you can hover over your profile, choose the dollar sign here, and you can see how much money you'll be spending at each level bracket in order to level up your account once. For example, I'll need about 23 cents to level up my account once at these much lower levels here. Or if you happen to be trading in-game keys like CS2 keys or TF2 keys, you'll get about 20 badge sets for each individual key here. You can see the different rates on this screen. Finally, if you've got gems lying around, you'll see rates for those levels here as well. All that you need to do is hover over your profile, choose profile in the top right, and make sure that your trade URL is set over here. If not, click this link, copy your trade URL from Steam over here, and paste it in, then save. If you get any errors when you're first logging into the site, just make sure that from your Steam profile, edit profile, privacy settings, your profile is set to public and probably your inventory too. On the far right of the same page, you'll also see the referral system, which you can send your link to your friends to give them an extra five cents and you'll earn 3% of whatever they spend on the platform, which you can cash out down here. When you're ready to level up your own account, click level up in the top left and here you'll be able to choose your dream level on Steam. For example, leveling up to level 10 from level five will get me six emoticons and these other things here. Finally, at the very bottom, you'll see the actual price to level up to this level from where we are currently. 
in both cash, skins, gems, and keys if you happen to use those as well. All you need to do is figure out how much you actually need to spend, figure out what you're going to spend with, and then if you're going to be using cash, deposit in the top right by clicking this. And in here, you can deposit using normal payment methods or processes, cryptocurrency through Coinbase or Cryptomus. You can activate codes using Kingwin in G2A. And finally, you can use skins back to trade skins for money in this platform. Simply just punch in your details and click pay to get started. At the very bottom here, you'll also see promotional code. Enter the code T-Shoot as such. You'll find it down below for an extra five cents in your account. Once you've added some cash, find your dream level, click the balance button to trade, and a trade will be sent to your account. Simply visit your trade offers, find the trade offer, accept after verifying it came from the correct place, then head across to your badges page where you can craft each of these individually. Otherwise, check out the Duobot extension by clicking here and add it to your browser where you'll now have a brand new button, automatically create badges that lets you craft many badges all at once. Just like that, your account is a way higher level really quickly. A huge thank you to Duobot for sponsoring this guide. Obviously, the best time to use a trading card bot and things like that would be Steam Summer or Winter Sales where you can earn extra cards from badges. But regardless, to level up your account, you're going to be spending a pretty penny, especially if you want a really, really high level. Once you've leveled up pretty high though, you can actually edit your profile and activate your new perks from the featured showcase tab where you can activate your many different showcases that you've just unlocked slots for by leveling up your account. When you get to high levels, you'll have a lot of these things that you can actually use. But yeah, that's pretty much that. You now know how to level up your Steam account really quickly. And of course, if you'd like to learn free methods, you'll find part one linked down below. A huge thank you again to Geobot for sponsoring this guide. Hopefully you found it useful. Thank you for watching. My has been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.